have been disappearing lately. But I assure you that the police have it under control and that there is nothing to worry about. Now, for attendance. Wolfgang Wolfman? <coughs> uh, here. Vlad Dragul? Here. Frank... Do you even have a last name? No. When he created me, Victor said it would imply that I was created biologically. Well, it makes sense if you think about it. What's going on? She's taking our homework. Didn't you do it? Didn't know we had homework. Maybe because you were asleep for the entire class yesterday. Be quiet. Well, Wolfgang. Um, well, well my, my sister ate my homework. It's true. It's a really bad habit of hers. You see... Ugh, fine. I'll give you a makeup sheet. But you'll have to have it by tomorrow. Or I'll have to give you detention. Mm. Hey guys, you know those disappearances the teacher was telling us about? <laughs> I'm surprised you heard them. You were asleep. Uh, hello, wolf senses. I didn't know wolf senses worked when the wolf was asleep. Yeah, well they do. But anyway, I've observed this threat, and we are the only ones who can defeat it. Because I think it's... Humans! I don't think those are real. Aren't humans just stories parents make up to scare their kids? I used to think so too, until I found this. Ah! Where did you get that thing? In a little leather pouch by the side of the road. But now, back to business. We need information, and I know just where to get it. At the school dance. What's a school dance? It is a dance at school. Oh. Well, what's a... School? One day I stumped to my lady. That's Medi. Gorgon, the biggest gossip in school. I'm hoping we could get some information out of her. I'm hoping this spaghetti sauce doesn't have any garlic in it. If we're gonna get her to talk, we're gonna need to get her on our side with a performance of some sort. Go on, Vlad. Show her some fancy footwork. I can't dance. It gives me a rash. Why don't you do it? I have to hide in the shadows so I can pounce on her and force her to give us information. But if you are going to force her to talk, then why do we even need hey, to- Hey! Less talking, more thinking about who is going to dance. Hey! <laughs> What are you doing? They say you're the biggest gossip in school. 
We uh, need information on the disappearances that have been occurring. What? We need gossip. Oh. <laughs> well, Labia showed me this picture of a thing that her father's sister's uncle's cousin's grandson's brother's sister's cousin took. He was out in Sleepy Hollow and he took a picture of this thing he saw with a vacuum cleaner that sucked up six ghosts. And three fingers off a zombie. Did it look like this? Yes, it looked exactly like that. Okay, boys, we got what we need. Move out. That was quite a girl. Yep. I saw her first. Okay, you freak. We know you're here. Horrific than I imagined. I think I blew a fuse. Okay, Vlad, you go out there and show him what's what. What? Why me? Because you were standing in front. Now go. I will. Um, defeat you and stuff? Psh. Ah! No fair. I have allergies. Okay, since Vlad has a phobia of vegetables. It's not a phobia, it's an allergy. As I was saying, since Vlad has an irrational fear, I will now make the brave sacrifice of fighting this bozo myself. got the irrational fear now. Shut up. Now, Frank, you go fight. You're not afraid of anything. Because you haven't been alive long enough to develop any fears. Okay, a uh, new plan. We're gonna sneak up from behind, trap him, and make him tell us everything. Where'd you get the black bag? None of your business. You see, it looks kind of like the bag I carry my collection of sunscreen in. He has a sunscreen collection? Not anymore. Now we strike! Okay, listen up. You're going to tell us everything, and I mean everything, or we're going to throw you in the creek. <sighs> Fine. My name is Jonathan Von Helsing, great-great-grandson of Abraham Von Helsing. <gasps> Abraham Van Helsing was the most dangerous vampire hunter ever. Everyone else in my family is a great monster hunter but I've never caught a single monster in my life. Then, I found a way into your world. So, with my silverware, fire, and garlic in hand, I- Wait, 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 back up. You found a way into our world? How? Well, I was in a cemetery, searching for zombies, when I found this door shaped like a skull. 
Dead End's door. It really does exist. What's Dead End's door? We'll get into that later. It shouldn't it have been locked? The key was in the keyhole. Okay. We got our info. We're finished here. What should we do with him? I think we should throw him in the creek anyway. I don't think so. Guys, guys, the question is not what are we going to do with him. The question is what are we going to do with the reward money? Oh. Actually, I don't think there's going to be any reward money. What? Why not? Because I don't think we should turn him into the police. He's not really a criminal. He just wants not to be rejected. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Okay, we're going to let you out of this bag, but you have to promise to not run away. We're going to let you take some pictures of us. You do have a camera, don't you? Yes. Wait! Okay, guys, strike your most frightening poses. <sighs> What do you guys think? Throw them in the creek. Definitely. Class, today the police found a note saying that the culprit of the disappearances has been found and taken care of. The note was not signed, but the police found some werewolf fur on it that they are attempting to analyze. Nice going, Mr. Anonymous. Can I help it if I shed? Okay. Now pass up your homework. You did do it, right? Ah! <laughs>